Adventure Trinity Family Home. We wanted to give you guys a tour of the Road Rambler and then also show you all the things that we did. When we got the RV, it was absolutely beautiful and we could have honestly done nothing to the RV and it be perfectly <laughs> wonderful to travel the country in. But since we were gonna be living in it, we did wanna make it a little bit more homey and more our design aesthetic. And for us, that really meant brightening it up a little bit. So we decided to paint the RV white. <laughs> the first couple of things we did was remove everything that we knew we didn't want to keep. So we had more of an open canvas and it had a lot of window valances over the blinds. The blinds are fantastic because they have a sunshade and a dark out blind. So we knew we wanted to keep these. They're just a roll down, super easy to use. Kate can use them and, and very, very nice. So we took down all the valances we took down all the blinds so we could paint. There was a tile backsplash and we removed that. So after we removed all the balances and the backsplash, we went to painting. We did two coats of primer and two coats of white paint. We'll link all of the items that we use below. So in case you guys are doing a home renovation or um, maybe updating your RV, you guys can know what we use. So in the kitchen area, we did a peel and stick. So this is just a white, small subway tile pattern. Peel and stick, Spencer put this up. It was relatively easy to put up. On some of the blinds, we were able to just mount them directly to the cabinets. On other ones, they were a little bit different. So Spencer built these boxes, these window balance boxes for us, and then the blinds are just mounted underneath that. So he made four of those. We brought a few pieces from our old home. So these are for pillows and blanket that we already had. The pillow cover was a gift to us for our new adventure. We shopped a lot on like Target, Walmart, and Amazon for a lot of the furnishings. We did the farmhouse black and white check. We got plates from Target. So you're gonna see that black and white accent throughout here. As we come back, we lucked out with a full residential fridge, which we, I guess on the flip side, we didn't get a lot of food storage, but with the full fridge, we can have a lot more fresh food, a lot more veggies and, and meats and stuff. So I think we're gonna love that. And then in here, we just have, it's not organized quite well, but plenty of storage. Once we figure out how to use this, we'll be able to fit a lot of food in here. We have six TVs. Actually, there's one behind us above the driver area. We've got one in the main area. Kate has bunk beds with two. We have one in the bedroom. And there's a TV outside. That's right, there is a TV outside. All right, come on back. First, we're gonna hit Cade's bedroom. Did you turn off your lights? Can you turn them on for us? Yeah. Okay. We've got Cade's bedroom. There weren't many things that we wanted the RV to have or like were our must-haves. The only one we had was bunks. We knew we wanted a special place for Cade to be in where it really felt like his own bedroom. So Cade likes to move a lot in his sleep. So we got these bolsters just from Amazon. Again, we'll link everything, but bolsters here, both beds have them so he doesn't roll out. Right now he's still sleeping on the bottom. We painted white in here, we removed the valances and we put up some pine tree stickers for him. As you guys know, we have Roxy the white Jeep. He loves Jeeps. I found these pillows that are very outdoor, our color scheme, but also have Jeeps on them. So this is Cade's area, his bedroom. Oh, go ahead. Some may put clothes there. We put monster trucks and books on the other side. Personalizing Kate's face just a little bit more. I actually bought these corrugated metal letters when we were pregnant with Kate and just never used them. So found a fantastic spot for those and he knows how to spell his name and say the letters. So that's just a great little detail we added. Across from Kate's bedroom is a half bath. In but here, there is no bathroom. right? So you're right. It, that's why we say half. So it's the sink and the toilet. Painted white. Added a little bit of decor in here. We've got awesome storage for all of our band aids, first aid, sunscreen, bug spray. And then at night, when we want to close off this area, if Kate is going to bed, we've got a wonderful pocket door, and it really becomes Kate's bedroom. 
Okay, then we come back into the master bedroom. Once we painted everything white, we still had a lot of dark. So these walls here, this wall kind of beside the bed, everywhere you see the white shiplap was this dark wood. And I still felt like it was very dark in here. So we talked through some options and decided to go with the white peel and stick shiplap from Target. It should be a lot easier than it was. Thankfully, my parents were amazing. My dad was cutting my mom was helping me or really i was assisting she is the one that hung all of this spencer stayed very clear of this project while we were creating cave's nursery we attempted to peel and stick and it was very trying on our marriage so it was really good that i got to do this project with my parents and it really brightened up the room we love how it looks we added a few little touches on the walls. We didn't want to have too much because we didn't want, well, one, the slides move in and out, but we did want to personalize it. We used Velcro on all the frames so they will stick and we don't have to take them on and off, which is great. Here is Spencer's area. So he has all of these drawers and the bottom one is Kate's. I feel like we totally lucked out because I have a lot of clothes. We both have a lot of shoes. And then this double wardrobe is my space. And I really wanted to make sure that I was respectful of that and not try to take up a drawer so when you think about like your underwear and your bras and your socks like where was I going to put all of that even though this is hanging space I came up with a cool solution Woo um so here I used car mesh mats they usually like go back on the back of a seat this is all velcro but I put these along the door and this is essentially my wardrobe or my drawer space over here, I did decide to share a little bit of my closet space with the cleaning products. So we've got our broom and our Swiffer. I ordered a hanging shoe rack for some of my hanging shoes, flip-flops, and I have a bunch squeezed in there. I ordered a jewelry case, double-sided, so I can hang my jewelry. And then I have a slew of clothes here, but also... I ordered some of these soft zipper packs where I can have pajamas, leggings, bathing suits, all kinds of other clothes that would normally go in a drawer, but all of my stuff is pretty much in this one space. Just make sure those close really well. Above the bed is also a little bit of storage space. This is where we chose to put our sweatpants, sweatshirts, sweaters, cold weather clothing. And then under the bed is additional storage where we've got some blankets, we've got Cade's and clothes for winter, we've got jackets and a few other things. So we essentially have a ton of storage up here. I thought we were gonna have to store clothes and items underneath the RV, but most of the clothing we got up here and most of our shoes, I guess we would say, we stored down in the bottom. Then we have a full bath in the back. So when you come back here, you'll see we just did a little bit of customizing some of the bathroom bars. We added a shower caddy so we don't have a ton of bottles. Just added a little bit of artwork. And with that, this is the conclusion of our tour. This is our new home.